Well, teens fighting diabetes face an uphill battle, but thanks to these mentors, they don't have to fight alone. Now, CBS 2's Lisa Siegel visited the Juvenile Diabetes Research Center to show us how one volunteer is making all the difference in the world for these young warriors. <laughs> it's fitting for 15-year-old Jessica Graff and 8-year-old Baron Penland to be playing ping pong. Life's been full of ups and downs for both of them. You want to test your blood sugar with me now? See, Jessica was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was 10. Baron, not so long ago. My body doesn't give me insulin anymore. And when Jessica found out her friend from church had what she had, she knew exactly what to do. I give tips, yeah. <laughs> More like a mentor. And she's done it with other kids with type 1, too. I talk to them about how I um, check my blood sugar, the struggles they go through, how to let your teachers know, and things like that. Wow, that's cool. Even though it seems really bad at the beginning, um, it will just become better. And Baron knows that. My Omnipod's on my leg. And being able to talk with Jess makes them feel not so alone. She helps me out. So this is my pump, and unlike yours, it has a tube, and then it shows me the total amount of insulin it's giving me. Now Jessica works with the L.A. chapter of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. They know if there's a child in need, she's there. I'm really proud of Jessica. Yeah, she's a wonderful girl, and she makes a big difference in the world and isn't going to let anything stop her. She really has made a huge difference in Baron's life, and we are forever grateful for that. We needed her and we have through this whole process. Baron says when he gets a little older, he wants to mentor other kids, just like his friend Jessica. Help them with the diabetes. Until then, Jess will continue giving those tips, and she has a message for other kids like her. Oh! <laughs> Even with type 1 diabetes, you can have an amazing life. You can reach your full potential. And that's a win-win. Jessica has no plans on slowing down and wants to help as many kids as she can. And when she gets older, she wants to be a doctor or a researcher so she can help find a cure. Back to you guys. And for more on the L.A. chapter of JDRF, just go to our website, cbsla.com, and click Scene on TV. And don't forget.